Welcome to another edition of Close Combat, the longest day with me, Lloyd Hudson. Yes, there has been a name change due to some Google reasons. Um, this is, I've lost count, I think it's already the 12th episode. And in this one, we are revisiting Saint-Marie-Dumont, the town with the big ass church in the middle that we advanced on in the first round there are still some German troops in there that are not that many and they're mostly Osttruppen and Osttruppen are uh, as the name suggests troops from the east and those are Ukrainian, Hungarian, Polish basically anything from the east that joined the Nazis uh, they tend to be not as organized as actual German troops, not as well trained and definitely not as well motivated. They were generally also placed along uh, the Atlantic uh, Wall to fill in the ranks and keep them away from any key positions. Unfortunately, of course, normally some of them became a key position and they were put into action. They should not pose too much of a threat, though they do have a lot of, a rather nice assortment of uh, mortars that might be an issue getting shelled they've got an um, MP34 and the pack 38 can be a bit of a pain in the ass if it's in the right location but I've got a full assortment of troops and again I've also got three mortar teams two machine guns and I might actually change it around a bit let's see uh, what do I have at my disposal? Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy actually with what I've got right here. This should be more than sufficient to take uh, the town. So let's try The battle continues. As you can see by the map, it's uh, I took a rather nice big chunk out of the city. And I got the church. Of course, there are some some places where they can actually launch a nice counterattack. This is an area that, if I were the Germans, I would definitely use. But I'm not sh convinced. They don't have that many troops, so they can't s spread themselves too thinly. And I'm pretty sure they're not in any position to launch a... Uh, counter-attack. Now we've also got some isolated uh, victory points. I'm not quite sure why the game does that. Because that makes little to no sense to me. But this is a victory uh, point that we have and then this is not. I might use this to my advantage, but it also might mean that I'm going to lose some men there. Uh, let's start by putting the machine gun into the tower. And let's put you guys on defensive mode. Okay. Yes, I do feel that this church will be definitely the center of all the attention uh, of the fighting. I think it's completely within my possession so no I cannot put them there. Why not? Does this line continue? It seems to be clear but apparently not for the game because I can't put it there but I can put it there. Okay. Do I want to move fast? Yes, I do want to move fast. So, rifle team, I want you guys to move fast too. Take that position. Uh, got a, a 30 cal right here that I'm going to put in this cafe at the corner in ambush mode. I'm not going to do too much to this area right here. I'm just going to these guys here on defensive they sh 
not the best location though, but if something comes across here then they should be able to get that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I do. I do feel that I need two, three tr units down there. What's up here? Is that my mortar? No, that's my rifle team. Remove that rifle team. Actually, keep that rifle team right there for now. You guys go. In here, uh, go on ambush mode. If anything comes through here, they should kill that. There's motor, those are motors. Then we got an engineering team, platoon, MG team. Okay, let's use the MG team because I might want to use them later on for flanking maneuver. Uh, platoon HQ. Okay, can't put them there. Where are you guys? Back there. Let's plop them down there. Okay. This is very unclear where I can and cannot put my troops. I can put them there, but I cannot put them there. Okay. So, let's move up quickly MG team I want to go into ambush mode should they try to come through here then I've got this MG team and the uh, 30 cal MG team that should mow them down Yeah, it starts to look like a nice puppet. I've got two teams here. This is a 31, 81 mortar, and we got an engineering team. And where do I want to put those guys? Hmm. Yeah, this might be a suicide for them. I don't know. Let's see. And you guys are going to be out of the houses. Clump together. That should be that. Okay, let's begin. Let's see. No enemy sighted directly, so that's good. I think. Go in defensive mode. Go into defensive mode. Defend. Oh, it's quiet. This was okay. So there's only one victory point that's not ours, I think. And that's the exit two. Two exit two. So where are you? Come out! Come out! Wherever you are. Uh, let's. Oh, I forgot those guys. Move up. There we are. Yes. Okay, 30 kill spotted the enemy. So they're moving up through the street. Probably. Try, we'll try and cross it. Not quite sure how to. Okay, we can shoot over or through those trees. Okay. 
All right, Ostrub and MJ, MG are coming up here. Who's shooting? Are you guys are shooting? Going to ambush. Enemy spawned. Engineer team spotted the enemy. They're moving up to this location. That's fine. There is actually a hole in here where they can get through. Well, I might be running right into the trap here. But don't let them pass, come on. <laughs> All right. Let them come close. Scratch one. To ambush. All right. That's one less to worry about. Guard. Let's move you around. I still don't think there's anything up there. There's a lot of mortars coming down here. But let them waste the mortars here. I suspect they've got the mortar teams in this area, maybe even here. I'm hearing them pop up. Huh? I think they're in here. Yeah, we're well there. Clan has been hit. Now what? Clan has been hit. Well, okay. As soon as they start firing, mortars come down. Zoop troop. Zoop troop. Uh -huh. Just put there. Let's uh. Let me start it. There's a lot of Russian, Polish, or Ukrainian chatter on the radio. But oh, right! They're right there! Jesus Christ! <laughs> they surrendered! How the hell did they get there? Oh, wow, that's. <laughs> That's a lucky break. They just ran into my uh, mortar platoons and they just uh, surrendered. So it's nice. That should happen more often. Because they could have done some serious damage there, MG. Ostrup and MG. Okay, yeah, they could have taken this out completely. I'm pretty sure they could.
That's a that's a really 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 lucky break. Okay, yeah, let's let's have some movement forward. As we still got seven minutes to go, they're about halfway through the morale. Which is okay, but I would like to have a total victory here right now. If possible. Let's move let's use the other let's use this one too. Okay. We know that they are here. No problem. Let's have. Yeah. Of course, they have offered us a cease fire. I'm not gonna play that though. Unless there is something in it for me, I will not accept any ceasefires. I'm just gonna storm this and hopefully take them from behind. Where are you? You're there. Up to the next hetero. You guys, yeah, keep on moving. From where are you being fired at? Once you built this building. Enemy spotted. Total Allied victory. Nice! They simply lost their morale. We took the town. Let's look at the details. We have one pr uh, prisoner that is an officer, five that are infantry, which is nice, they will not return. We killed two officers, wounded two officers, killed six infantry, wounded six infantry, and our losses are minimal. One officer got killed, three infantry got killed. That's too bad, but uh, only one got wounded, one officer got wounded, and two infantry guys got wounded. Uh, not bad, but we got the entire map. We won. That's a good thing. Now we have to hold it, I think, for a counter attack. That was a nice and easy window. Oh. That concludes this episode. Thank you for watching and until next time.